Uh, my major goal since I was about eight, so I'm a little bit weird, I was interested in bugs since I was young and studied entomology my entire career, entomology being the study of insects. And I grew up in a family that was organic gardeners on 40 acres in Connecticut, very green family. My father's an energy efficiency expert and my mother's a master gardener who does everything organic. And so I decided I wanted to have a career pursuing product, developing products that were going to be safer than chemical pesticides. And I started uh, my career from graduate school getting a PhD in entomology and then went to right out of graduate school to Monsanto company and a very exciting program I was allowed to start up to look for new solutions uh, for insect control and I was pretty much given a blank sheet of paper and said just find something new and had a really good time there for seven years but Monsanto ultimately decided they want to, wanted to pursue genetically engineered plants. Um, engineering the uh, insect control uh, proteins and the genes that code for those proteins into plants which have become very successful and my group switched to that and, and was very um, involved in doing that but I actually was more interested in looking for things that you could spray microbes like bacteria and fungi that you could actually spray on plants to kill insects and plant diseases and so forth rather than the engineering route. So I got a call from a Danish company called Novo Nordisk and they said, well, we'd like you to start up a company somewhere in, in the U.S. And we ultimately uh, decided on Davis, uh, California, to start it up. And so I was given the money to start up a company as a subs wholly owned subsidiary looking for novel solutions for insect control that were uh, based on naturally occurring microorganisms that could be fermented like you're making wine and beer in the tanks. And the reason they wanted to do this is because they had excess tank capacity at the time, wanted to fill those tanks and hired a, a big consulting firm who said diversify. And uh, so they wanted to get into all these new businesses of which we were one. And um, so we started up a program looking for naturally occurring microorganisms that you could ferment, that you could spray out as pesticides. And after five years, they, hired a, uh, they were having some real problems in their core businesses in that they actually um, anticipated uh, they didn't anticipate that they were going to have a tank shortage after five, sh and so they couldn't, didn't have enough tanks to meet their main core businesses of industrial enzymes. So they hired, I think it was Booz Allen that time, and, to, and Booz Allen said, well, you've diversified too much. Please sell all your uh, ancillary businesses and get back to your core. So we were sold uh, in 95, and I took three scientists who are still at AgriQuest as the founding scientific team and then started up raised uh, about $500,000 from friends and families and some large farmers and uh, we were on our way. 